In this video, I'm going to show you how to get more storage on your iPad. So if you're running out of storage on your iPad, there's actually a couple of things you can do to free up some space. So the first thing is just to head over to the settings application on your iPad, click on general from the left hand side, and then select iPad storage. Now, this is going to give you a breakdown of exactly how much storage is being used on your device. So you can see here for me currently, I'm using 47 gigabytes of 256 gigabytes. Now, your storage may be more or less than this, but there's actually a few things we can do to free up space here and to allow more storage on the device. So the first thing we have is these recommendations. Now, these are Apple recommendations to go and save yourself some space on your device. So I would recommend just going through this list here and trying to save as much space as you can this way so for example right at the top we have offload unused apps now i would recommend enabling this feature you can just click on enable next to it and then we also have some other stuff like review downloaded media so this is everything in your downloads folder and I'll show you this in a second. So your recommendations might be somewhat similar or they might be different to mine. So you just simply need to go through this list and try to apply these recommendations. Now, once you've done this, if you scroll down, you'll see a list of all of your applications. Now, these are the applications that are taking the most amount of space on your device. So you can see it's ordered by which ones are consuming the most amount of data. Now, typically you're going to have either photos or messages at the top of this list, followed by your your general applications. So if you do have any applications on here, aside from photos and messages that are taking up a lot of space, then what you can do is just click on that application. So for example, if I click on the Netflix application, what you can actually do here is click on offload app. And what that will do is free up some storage space used by the app, but it will still keep all of your documents and data intact. So when you click this button, it's not going to be deleted from your device. It will still remain on your home screen here. You'll just basically need to tap it to go in re-download it and all of your data and login information will still be there. Now if you're having issues with photos or messages taking up a lot of space on your device then what I'd recommend doing to solve this is to utilize the iCloud. Now you can do this by clicking on your profile icon in the top left hand side, select iCloud from the list and then select saved to iCloud. Now as you can see here for me I have most of these features turned on and what this is essentially doing is saving all of my data onto the iCloud so I no longer need it on the iPad itself. So you can see right at the top here I have 431 gigabytes in my iCloud photos but this is only a 256 gigabyte iPad. So basically the majority of my files and documents are being saved to the iCloud and not the iPad itself. Now, by default, you'll get a certain amount of storage space for free on iCloud, and then you'll need to pay for extra storage. So you can see if I come back over to the previous window and I click on storage, that I currently have two terabytes worth of data on iCloud. So you can go in, change your storage plan and purchase more storage if you need to. But this is a really good way to basically free up space on your device and then just go and save it to your iCloud instead. Especially with things like photos, this feature can be really useful. Now, another place you may want to look in order to free up storage space is if you click on the files application on your iPad and then on the left hand side click on downloads this is where all of our downloaded files are being saved to so what I like to do is just click on this select button right at the top here click on select all and then just go in and pressing delete right at the bottom down here and deleting all of this data now just make sure there's nothing in this downloaded folder that you actually need before deleting it but most of the time this is just files and documents that we've been downloading from the internet so you can typically delete most of the data in this folder. And it's really as simple as that, guys. That's how you free up storage space on your iPad. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.